I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Mind Biotherapeutics, a Melbourne, Australia-based leader in microdosing psychedelic medicines, received its initial microdoses of LSD. All pharmaceutical medicines need to be made to the standard of good manufacturing practices, which require each manufacturer to ensure that their products are traceable, safe, pure and effective for human consumption. MindBio's CEO Justin Henke recently visited the company's Canadian manufacturer, which is fully licensed by the Canadian government to manufacture a GMP-grade LSD for the pharmaceutical industry. This LSD will be used to create a novel sublingual formulation for LSD microdosing. Following a secure chain of custody, MindBio announced that its initial delivery of 1 million microdoses of LSD had arrived at its labs for process, in preparation for two separate Phase two take-home LSD microdosing clinical trials, which are both fully funded. The company recently announced that ethics approval has been received for a world's first Phase 2A take-home LSD microdosing clinical trial in patients with major depressive disorder, along with approval by the Clinical Trials Registry. In this open-label trial, in 20 patients with major depressive disorder, the tolerability and feasibility of an eight-week regimen of LSD microdosing will be tested. The results will inform a continuation trial, a much larger Phase 2B randomized triple-dummy active placebo-controlled trial. In 2022, MindBio's Phase 1 take-home LSD microdosing clinical trial, 80 healthy male volunteers were randomized into an LSD group and a placebo group, receiving 14 doses every three days for six weeks, with the first doses given in a supervised laboratory setting and the other doses self-administered at home. The advantage of microdosing LSD as opposed to macrodosing is that patients can take the drug and then get on with their day in much the same way they would when taking antidepressant medication. Notably, there were no serious adverse events recorded, and participants on dose days had substantial improvements in mood, including increases in energy, social connectivity, creativity, wellness, and happiness. Justin Henke, CEO and co-founder, stated, By using microdosing, we are creating a unique treatment model that is globally scalable, accessible, and affordable, aiming to address the existing challenges in mental health care. MindBio is amassing the world's largest repository of biometric, psychological, and psychometric data from microdosing randomized controlled clinical trials in a big data play for the company. We are leading the world in LSD microdosing and look forward to providing the next exciting update from new discoveries to shareholders soon. In this video taken at the Canadian manufacturer's GMP facility, Justin Henke inspects the newly produced LSD prior to its shipment to MindBio for its Phase two clinical trials. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 300 million people worldwide experience depression. In the United States alone, 3.1 million people between the age of 12 and 17 have experienced at least one major depressive episode in the past year, with suicide the second leading cause of death among people aged 10 to 34. The shares which recently began trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange are trading at 10 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, mindbiotherapeutics.com. Contact Justin Henke, CEO, at 614331-40886 or by email at justin at mindbiotherapeutics.com. I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.